I'm Alyssa Petruzzi with RT Book Reviews. We're here with Allison Noel at Book Expo America in New York City at the Javits Center, right in the middle of the thick of it here. Uh, we nabbed Allison after her signing, and we want to hear all about her new series with Riley. I'm signing copies of Radiance today, and that's when they saw me over at my booth. And um, it's a new spinoff series about Ever's ghostly little sister that we met in Evermore. She's and my favorite. She was my favorite, too. Mm -hmm. And she was so fun to write that I was really sorry to see her go. And she ended up getting oh, a yeah. much bigger part in the book than I thought she would, just because I just wanted to keep bringing her back. Yeah. So when they offered me the chance to do a spinoff series starring her, I just jumped at the chance. And Radiance was one of the most enjoyable books I've ever written. I mean, I really had so much fun bringing her back and recreating her world. And basically, it's about Riley's life in the afterlife and the things that she has to do and accomplish. And so uh, the first book is coming out August 31st, and there will be another to follow about six months from that. So uh, Riley, because Riley is younger, is this more of a middle grade book? Like, what can readers expect? Um, Riley's 12 years old, so it is geared somewhat towards a younger reader, but I think that readers of the Immortals series will just be able to jump right into it and enjoy it as well. I don't think it's spe so specific to a younger reader other than the fact that Riley's 12. Right. Yeah. So, um, and you have a new Dar uh, Immortals book coming out, Dark Flame, in June. Tell us a little bit about that. Dark Flame will be out on June 22nd, and it's book number four in the Immortals series. And Ever <laughs> is dealing with Haven, who, I don't want to give any spoilers for Shadowland, but she's dealing with some re repercussions of uh, something that happened with Haven. And so she's trying to bounce that. She's trying to bounce this strange new attraction she feels towards Roman, oh, Roman. Uh, which is threatening her relationship with Damon. And of course, Jude's out there in the background too. So there's a lot going on. Damon is super dreamy. He is super dreamy. Totally dreamy. Where did you come up with him? Is he based on anybody? Oh, Damon is like my idea of everything I would want in my dream man. And he actually has a lot of the same traits as my husband. He's a really good cook. He uses his left and his right brain. <laughs> he's really sort of old school mannerly, you know. And um, and then he's just drop dead gorgeous as well. Right. So um, it's hard to find for a teenage girl. Yes, hard to find for an adult girl too. <laughs>